everybody, go away here, bring you another episode of Ace Academy. Now, I'm recording this at, like, the middle of the night, so I'll try not to be too loud. Yeah, without further ado, anyways, if you're new to the series and new to this channel, I highly, highly recommend that you start from episode one by clicking the playlist link in the description down below and working your way up to the current episode. Without further ado, now that I've given you guys ample time to change over to the playlist if you have to, we will continue with the episode. Last time we left off, Nikki gave us a really strange phone call. For those of you who don't remember, Nikki is our cute little Emoto, aka sister. And she sounded very uh, concerned about something. So we quickly drove over there with a bike without really questioning it. Nikki straightens up as I slow down. Flex of blood stains her clothes and dark bruises mark her skin. Ken steps into the light to greet me and I wince when I see him. Oh yeah, now I remember. What did you do to my sister, you stupid Ken? Stupid Kenyan? His left eye and cheek is puffy and starting to turn purple. Blood drips down his face from a cut on at his temple. He must have tried to clean it up before his, because his forehead is smeared with streaks of red. What the hell happened here? I park my bike and rush over to them. Nikki throws her arms around me and hugs me tightly. Seriously, Ken, what the heck did you do? And did I just mention this this uh, little uh, shirt that she has is adorable? I can't tell if that bow is like drawn on as a design or if it's actually like a bow itself. So glad you're here. What happened? Oh my God, Nikki, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You're bleeding. No, the blood's not mine. Is it Ken's? No. You look like hell. He tries to smile, then dabs at his swollen lips. His finger is now stained with fresh blood. He holds himself stiffly and leans on the lamppost for support. He saved me from those guys. What guys? I don't know. There was a group of them. Three, I think, waiting for the bus. And when they showed up, they started saying all these things about me. Sexual harassment? They were being so gross and creepy, but I tried to ignore them because I figured the bus would be there soon and it wouldn't matter. And then one of the guys tried to put his arm around me, freaked out, and I guess I pushed him and he got really angry. And then the other guy grabbed me and... My brud... <laughs> my brud... My blood runs cold. He what? Did he hit you? Are you hurt? No. Nikki's voice trembles and her eyes glitter with tears. I'm about to pull her back into a hug when Ken slips his hand into hers and squeezes. Ken intervened before anything could have happened. She glances at Ken, smiling broadly. He came barreling out of the bookstore, screaming at that guy to let me go. And then he punched him right in the face. Whoa, that's pretty awesome, dude. I mean, I still don't accept you as her husband yet. The guy was super angry, and he and his friends ganged up on him. Oh, shoot, what just happened? I'm sorry, you guys might see like a short flicker. <laughs> she frowns. I tried to stop them from ganging up on Ken. You what? What were you thinking joining the fight? You could have been seriously hurt. I mean injured. Nikki sets her jaw. There was no way I was going to let Ken fight them alone. Especially not when this fight only happened because of me. Oh, by the way, guys, the flicker is because for some reason I accidentally pressed the button. I have like a weird mouse, okay? So what happened was it ended up going like full screen mode. But yeah, I mean, at least it didn't really screw with the recording that badly. I'm too stunned by her outburst to reply. Of course I'm not pleased that she put herself in danger, but a part of me is still a little proud. I'm proud that my little sister could stand up for, you know, fighting her own battles, but it was kind of scary the fact that she actually stood up. I mean, those of you who don't know, women are stronger than you guys think. Don't give them any less credit, because they are actually tough, tough, tough human beings. I'll give you that much. 
but I didn't really need to help. I raise an eyebrow. What? Ken beat two of them up by himself. The third one had to help them up so they could escape. <laughs> Good job! I mean, I don't like you or anything. What? I look skeptically at Ken. I wouldn't say he's scrawny, but he's no muscle man either. Ken shifts nervously. I think I still make him uncomfortable. I have some experience with martial arts. Uh, what do you mean, some experience? You're a second on black belt! Guys, things might have been bad if we actually pissed off this dude. <laughs> He's a what? I certainly was not expecting that. You threw yourself in harm's way to protect Nikki? Of course. Hmm. I may have to reevaluate this guy. Ken maintains eye contact and answers with conviction. Nikki blushes. She seems happy. Anyway. I told Ken he should go back inside, but he refused. It's not safe for her to wait alone. I like the way you think. I take another look at Ken. At THE Ken. Respect. No way he fought off three guys alone. I should have been there. Hmm. You know what? I gotta give him my respects. He fought off three dudes, okay? There's a fire in his eyes I'd never noticed before. When he looks at Nikki, he isn't that timid kid trembling in his boots. He looks like someone who's willing to move mountains. I meet his eyes and nod. Thanks for being there for her. He blinks in surprise, but nods back. I only did what anyone would have done. Don't be so modest, you were amazing out there. <laughs> oh, I see it. Ken shrugs awkwardly, then winces in pain. Are you sure you're okay, though? Maybe we should take you to the hospital. He shakes his head. I'm fine. Nothing's broken. I'll look him over. Uh, I don't know about that. I told him we should call an ambulance, but he refused. I promise I'm okay. I'm sorry for causing you such trouble. Hey man, you actually helped me out a lot, so I'm not going to be complaining here. There's one of those rare moments I wish my bike could fit more people. Do you at least have a ride home? He let me call his brother to come pick him up. We'll wait here with you until he arrives. I appreciate the thought, but I would feel more at ease if you took Nikki home. I insist. Offer to walk him back to the bookstore. I insist. Nikki shakes her head. What if they come back? I know my brother will be here in a few minutes. I can afford to wait a few minutes. Me too. I glance at the dimly lit bookstore. Is the bookstore still open? Maybe we could wait inside there. They're probably in the middle of closing. I'm sure your co-workers will let you back in. They're probably wondering what happened to you anyway. You work there? Ken nods. Then let's definitely get you back inside. Realizing he's fighting a losing battle, Ken agrees. Okay. Damn, this dude. Taking down three guys. For my little sister. Maybe, just maybe, I'll allow him to date her. No husband material yet, though. Nikki and I go to support him, but he manages to walk by himself. As we head into the bookstore, his co-workers rush out to help, each asking questions about what happened. Nikki and I sit with Ken as we wait for his brother to arrive. Nikki fusses over Ken, and he lets her. As I watch the two of them, I pay close attention to Ken. He's calm, respectful, and polite. But most importantly, he makes Nikki smile. Hmm. Let Ken know you approve, or I'm not convinced. Honestly, if anyone was that nice, that polite, that well-mannered, and that caring for my little sister and makes her that happy, 
Even if it wasn't my little sister and it was just a friend, I would be happy for them. I see no reason why I cannot give this approval. Although people in the freaking Pixel Fade chat would start yelling at me because they're like, oh, Nikki route, Nikki route. I'm like, there's no Nikki route. So let Ken know you approve. Hey, Ken, can I talk to you for a second? He looks up at me with wide eyes, the very same expression that he wore the first time I met him. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, we're just studying. Sure. Amused, I lead him to a quiet area behind the shelves. Yo, this sounds so creepy. I'm trusting you to take care of her. <laughs> Look at his eyes. They just became like so tiny and everything. He's like, <gasps> dilated pupils. He blinks blankly before his eyes open wide again. And his face goes pink. He bows at a perfect 90 degree angle. Of course. Thank you for your trust. You don't have to bow. He turns to an upright position. Sorry. Don't apologize. Sorry. Don't apologize for apologizing. I glare at him and he shuts up. Huh. This is kind of fun. I think I may actually enjoy this turn of events. Okay, let's go back. Nikki bombards us with questions as we return. What was that all about? Why wasn't I invited? Why did Ken bow? <laughs> yeah, Ken. Why did you bow? I grin devilishly at him, daring him to answer. Uh, oh, it's, uh, it's because he's, uh, my senpai? <laughs> <laughs> senpai noticed you, okay, Ken? Senpai noticed you. Nikki stares at him blankly, then shifts her attention to me. What did you do? Nothing at all. N n nothing at all. It's like nothing at all. Isn't that right, Ken? Uh, of course. <laughs> I like this kid. I like this kid a lot. You two are gonna be just fine. Nikki pouts, but I can see the traces of a smile. I guess she's glad we're finally getting along. A few minutes later, Ken's brother shows up. He convinces Ken to go to the hospital and thanks us for our help. With Ken safe, we head home. Nikki lets out a huge breath when we step into the living room. Her face is unusually serious. She hangs her head and stares at her feet. I'm so sorry. What are you sorry for? Why? If I hadn't gone to visit Ken, I wouldn't have lost track of time and stayed out so late. And then I wouldn't have gotten into this mess and made everyone worry. Nikki, what happened wasn't your fault. She glances up at me. But if I... No. None of this is your fault. What happened is the fault of those guys, and if I ever find out who they are, I'm going to finish what Ken started. Nikki smiles weakly and nods. I think I'll go take a shower. Sure. As soon as Nikki goes upstairs, Kaito, or Kato, pops his head out of the kitchen. Is Nikki gone? Yeah. He pauses and gives me another look. Did something happen? I debate telling K Kato about the incident, but I don't want him to needlessly worry. He looks like he has something else on his mind. It's fine. What's up? I heard back from the PI. The private investigator. We've been waiting for this news for a while now. I wonder what it is that he has to tell us. But, since we're at the 14 minute mark now, and we're about to hit that 15 minute mark, I'm gonna end up- uh, I am gonna end the episode here, and leave this cliffhanger for you guys next time. That's right, that's right, I am a mean jackass. Anyways, thank you for joining me. If you like the content I've provided, please hit that like button, and as usual, if you want to keep up my latest content as I do upload every single day, I highly, highly recommend that you hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for joining me, and this is Go Away, Going Away. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.